back in line. Now we're going to try and charge a capacitor. So this is a, uh, how many volts is this? 200 volt capacitor. This is a 200 volt At electrolytic capacitor. It looks like 680 microfarads. Oh wow, that's got quite a bit of microfarads. Um, Those big blue ones over there have 6,000. So we've got it hooked up into this so we can measure the um, <clears throat> increases. Hopefully this won't blow up. Be prepared to unplug it quickly. You got it. Uh, you want to put your safety stuff on here? You can wear the armored jacket. Yeah. All right, and goggles. Jake's gonna stand back from this. Mm -hmm. He's got safety goggles on and the armored shirt, just in case the capacitor blows apart, because sometimes they do that. All right, first, first plug. I, I, I'm ready. ready. I can see it, yeah. All right, it's done. Uh, the voltage, it stopped. Okay, that's good. Unplug. Is it draining? It went up to 156. What was it so, signed for? 200. Nice. So I think we fully charged it. You want to see if it'll discharge? Yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. There nice. we go. Nice. Okay. All right. Secondary discharges. No nice. Secondary discharges. High five right there. We just yeah. successfully charged a high voltage capacitor for the first time. You're going to short that out. Ready to go again? You see, when I short it out, it goes to zero volts, but it keeps charging up the reset. Yeah, it's at point nine. Yeah, so this isn't this it's is decimals. probably because the the uh, probes are sending an electrical signal to it, and that is causing it to charge up. So, so we're gonna charge it again. Just make sure it wasn't a fluke. Pretty much charges up instantly. All right, three, two, one, it's plugged. And good. Yeah, it charges up instantly. All right. And slowly losing charge. Discharge again. Right, here we go. Woo! Awesome. So that works for sure. Let's try a bigger capacitor now. Get bigger. That's right, it's bigger. All right. So this is a 450 uh, volt one. We probably won't be able to get it that high because the other one was 200. But we actually got it higher than the output of this rectifier, so that's interesting. So 6,000 microfarads. Let's see how powerful this will be. The other right. one was only like 600 microfarads, so this is an order of magnitude more energy. Uh, three, two, one, it's on. And unplug. All right, unplugged. Okay. All right, ready? But I'm going to. Here we go. Oh my, that is powerful. <laughs> that was loud. It moved itself. <laughs> Gabe's suiting up. We have a um, charging this capacitor and running through this coil to crush this can. Hopefully. Hopefully. It might do nothing to the can. Who knows? In order to activate it, Gabe will take this and tap it against the capacitor lead there. It will at least make a very loud noise and spark. Is in. Are you in position? Please assume the position. I'm ready. All right. I'm going to charge this for three seconds. Okay. One, two, three. All right, it's out. Okay. You are go for launch. Ready? Yep. Fire in the hole. Three, two, one. Dead wire? Yep. All right, everything's unplugged. I see no extra damage to the can, but you saw it before me, so. All right, so we've reattached basically everything. Everything seems to be okay. This is very confusing. Now we've got it hooked into a, uh, a voltmeter, so we're going to charge it. See if it still works. Ready? Three, mm -hmm. two, one. One, two, three. I'm not measuring anything. I saw sparks coming through the wire. This wire's working. Yeah, nothing went up here. You're not measuring anything there? Mm-mm. Oh, oh, it did charge. Oh. And I think that's one of those cases where the rust was getting in front of it. <laughs> That's why you use safety equipment. Ah, you're right. It does make your, your ears ring a little bit, but not not as much as I was I was thinking. Secondary. Ah, Christ on a wheelchair. <laughs> now why does that happen? I don't 
entirely no. Okay, so the uh, last little leads were not very good, so we're taking a new piece of metal and we're gonna yep. grind that in half for our new leads. All right, get those goggles on. We've got aluminum. It's gonna blow up when we touch it. I'm gonna plug in the primary cable. Whew. We're probably gonna cut a lot of this footage out. Actually, do you wanna wear the uh, full face mask? Nah. It's just aluminum. <laughs> Famous last words. All right, I'm gonna charge this for three seconds. Okay. It's charged. Are we ready? Go for gold. Three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> Look at what it did to All me. All right, secondary discharge, please. Wow, that is a lot of secondary discharges. Looks like it has melted some of it. And the equi I've calculated this out. The equivalent energy is about one-fourth the power of an M16 uh, bullet moving through air. The kinetic energy, that is. Take a look at that. Uh, let's turn this around here. So the total energy released on those two electrodes is about one-fourth the kinetic energy of a rifle bullet. So that's... Uh, it's fairly powerful. A little bit something you might want to be see wary where it of. Sheared through. Well, when this is fully charged, it's about the full power of a M16. Okay. We're not going to go there because we we don't have the voltage for that. Anyway, yeah. So nice. It worked. <laughs> All right, get those goggles on. <laughs> Safety. All right, you got a you aluminum got a can. can this time. What is that? Jumex. We're charged and ready to go. You may fire when ready. Nice. Put some wow. holes in that can. There are. Those are holes. Electricity. <laughs> those are certainly holes. <laughs> they are indeed. We Gabe. did not shoot this with a BB gun. That was electrical caused. Look how big it is compared to my pinky. Either I have a gigantic pinky, or those are. Those are them. <laughs> According to popular myth, people like to say that carrots have similar consistency to the human finger. So let's see what would happen if you gave this thing a little poke. I'm gonna try a grape now. Try a grape now. Yep. Okay. It must be discharging through the grapes and just not being that spectacular because it's not metal. Okay, that makes sense. Huh. Okay, so today was quite a successful day, I'd say. I would, hence the success hats. Yeah, these are success hats. That's right, we wear these whenever we feel like we did something cool. Anyways, we tested out this huge capacitor, we tested out another capacitor. We now have a way to charge capacitors, this Without setup right here. Popping the breakers immediately. That's right. Um, and we can blow small things up. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye. Have a nice day.